Hi everybody, welcome to our digital kennel. I'm Charles Miller, German Shepherd Man, and this is Sergeant the Super Dog. And we're talking about senior dog health. Senior German Shepherds, what do you do once they start getting older? He's about 60 years old, human years. I'm gonna let him go, okay. It's the sun's out and he, he's black and he's wanting to go. He's 60 years old, human years, and he's wanting to go, 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 go. That's what you want. You want your senior dog to still have go-go juice once they get older. He's, he's awesome. I mean, he, he works like a three-year-old. He's amazing. Now, I wanna go over a few things uh, about senior health. Now, uh, one thing is exercise. You don't want them to just kind of, well, they're older and they just like to lay around. Well, that's okay, but you, you, you got to run them a little bit. I mean, if, if here he comes again, look at this. You, you with me, Jay? Yep. Sergeant, right here. Stay. Now, I just want, I want to tell you what, what he just did. He went wet got six acres here. He just went way out into the middle of the property with this pine cone and was lying down in the shade. Well, he got cool enough. You know, he, he wanted to leave here because it was hot. He got cool enough and then he came running back over here and said, Daddy, I'm cooled down now. Throw it now. I mean, that's what he wants. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I mean, this dog's, this dog's loaded. You would never think he's 60 years, human years old. Awesome, I'm coming back over here, Jay. <sighs> Threw Jay a curveball. Jay's my cameraman. <laughs> Sergeant came, he's back out there again in the shade. Okay, I've talked enough. Let's get on with this senior health deal. Exercise, they need exercise. Don't let them become a dog bed potato. We call us couch potatoes. Don't let them become a, a dog bed potato. They need to, and they need more than just a walk. A lot of people walk their dogs, and I know that's fun, and it's exercise for you and all that, I get it, but they need to do some running if they can, if they're not too old. If they're 13 years old, okay, that's a different story, but you know, he's eight plus years old now. Still very viable, very awesome in many ways. So we're still working him. Here he comes again. What do you have, buddy? Drop. Okay. I mean, he's ready to go. Anyway, okay, enough about that. Exercise. Uh, food. We moved him to a raw diet. This may rub some of you wrong, but you don't, if you put your dog on a raw diet, you just, you don't just put them on raw meat, muscle meat. There's a lot more to a raw diet than that, in my opinion. My dog, I've seen dogs over the years, they will eat vegetables out of the garden on their own. They will pick fruit off of blueberry bushes and so forth. I mean, they like vegetables, they like fruits, and that's very important. Plus, muscle meat is not all the meat that they need. Uh, in the wild, they will eat internal organs. They'll eat heart muscle. They'll eat, they'll eat tripe. They'll, they'll, they'll just eat a lot of different parts of the animal if you're feeding raw. My, my suggestion if you're doing that, and he's on a raw diet right now. He gets muscle meat, he gets cardiac meat, he gets liver, he gets trachea, he gets tripe. I mean, he gets a lot of things, but Maddie and I cook. Come here, Maddie. Maddie just walked up. Come here, Maddie. Y'all know Maddie. It's okay. Oh gosh, here comes. Sorry. Roll the roll the tape. Keep rolling. I wasn't gonna get her to say anything, Jay. Okay. Maddie's putting her microphone on. So take your time, baby. So anyway, uh, Maddie and I uh, cook. The re we cook his vegetables and fruits, and it's a pretty simple process, uh, and we only have to do it like once every month or so. Come on, Maddie. This is Maddie J, this sergeant. We cook his food. Uh, we order the raw. It comes in five-pound tubes, frozen, and then we cook his food. We cook his food, rice and squash and broccoli and lots of vegetables, peas. Beets. 
beets, yes, beets are important, and the, the fruits. We give him some, some mangoes, some pineapple. Blueberries. Not cherries, blueberries. Strawberries. Uh, strawberries, blackberries. So he gets about 10% fruits, about 20% vegetables, and then the rest of the different kinds of protein, different kinds of meat in his, uh, in his new feeding system. So I just want to let you know where he is right now. A lot of you have been watching him since he was a baby. So uh, now, supplements, really important. I talk about this all the time. Why? He looks great. Here he comes again. Now, I don't know if he's going to come over here. He may just come over here. Let's see what he does table <laughs> got that pine cone ready to go he goes out there lays in the shade gets cooled down and comes back so let's go daddy somebody throw this pine cone <laughs> that's my boy great genetics great nutrition great training remember those three things he has great genetics great nutrition and he's had great training speaking of training i raised him since he was a little baby eight weeks old and I used the tricks and things that I have learned secrets from 47 years I got my first German Shepherd puppy 47 years ago and you learn a lot of little secrets along the way and I've even trained Maddie to train dogs how's that going for you going wonderful. really I good and she's become an outstanding dog trainer. So thank you for being such a good student. But great genetics, great nutrition, great training. Now, him being raised under my 47 years of German Shepherd puppy experience, I taught him all the little things so that I don't have problems. A lot of people, you see a lot of dog trainers on YouTube and they're having people with dogs with problems come to them and they're teaching them how to fix their dog's problems. Maybe their dog's two, five, six, eight years old. They got these bad manners and bad problems. There are a lot of dog trainers that, that fix dog problems. My puppy training system sets you up so that you do the training. You love the dog because when they have good manners, you love them and you don't have those problems. For instance, take the puppy out to do their poo and pee. They do their poo and pee. And after a few days, they figure out, oh, well, she's going to take me back in that house. She's going to put me in that crate and they'll run from you. How do you get the puppy to love going back in the house when it's time to go back in the house? Or maybe it starts raining. Oh, we got to get, get back in and they're running from you. No, 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 no. Get my puppy training system. I know I'm harping on this, but if you want a dog like Sergeant the Super Dog, start him out like he got started out and you will really love your champion for the rest of their life. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. Now, back to his feeding supplements. <sighs> Vitamins that I use, very important. I've used them since 1999. The joint supplements, wow, joints in German Shepherd breed, very important. Very important. Very important. So we not only supplement vitamins, but we supplement supplement with joint supplements. I take joint supplements and vitamins every day. Now, the link is in the description on YouTube, uh, on Facebook. The link will be up there. You can go to GermanShepherdMan.com and look at our health and nutrition page and just click on the joint supplements, the vitamins, and it'll take you right there. They're not cheap, but they're not cheap. I don't do cheap. I do awesome. I get awesome genetics, awesome dogs, awesome training, and awesome nutrition. Now, uh, let's talk about bedding. I almost lost a dog in 1999. I used to, human emotions, human feelings, had this, this nice big crate and had my dog in there and I got this soft, nice bed and uh, came out one morning, he had chewed it up. The white stuffing was everywhere. And I was like, oh man, so I cleaned it up, threw it away and uh, he didn't eat breakfast that day didn't eat supper that day. And I'm like, wow, he, he, he's a high food drive dog. He's not eating, took him to the vet. He had eaten some of that bedding and it was lodged in his intestines. Thank goodness the vet had an idea and we didn't have to have surgery, but it's a huge, huge problem. I do not do bedding. Even old Sergeant, even in his, his older years, I don't do bedding 
unless the in the next year or two he's he's eight plus when he gets maybe nine or ten years old he may need some bedding uh, where he lives but up until then i don't do bedding on young puppies it's really important let them let them become an adult two and a half three years old before so they won't chew their bedding up swallow it okay anything else about senior health that i'm missing maddie here he comes here he comes sergeant I mean, look at that. 60 years old, human years. And he's just hopping up here, you know why? Great nutrition, very important. Get those supplements on my website, germanshepherdman.com, health and nutrition page. Thank all of you from all of us. I'm Charles Miller with Maddie, germanshepherdman.com.